Hello everyone, this is Jessica Krasner, Strategic Account Manager for Softmart, and this is your IT Two Minute Warning. In this video, I want to talk about something that came up um, for one of our customers, and it's an important conversation to have because sometimes I think it's probably not talked about as much, and it's a term called uh, in the Microsoft world called uh, multiplexing, and it really resides in the SQL space when you start to talk about it. But basically, multi you can look at multiplexing like this. It is basically the act of putting a layer between you either as an end user or as your device and the SQL server, right? So that could be an application like SharePoint or almost anything that would utilize SQL server as the database. But the key here is that, you know, multiplexing is something that I think is a little bit of a confusing scenario because what you're basically saying is that the end user or the device is getting information out of SQL but never really the the application is getting information out of SQL more so than your end user is technically going to that server but in the Microsoft space that is still considered an access point to SQL so the easiest way to explain this is that unless you are receiving information out of SQL via a printed handout okay and that is the first time you're getting the information the end user or the end user device needs to be licensed for SQL okay if you've got if that end user is accessing a database accessing an application that is using SQL as the database then yes that those folks need to be licensed so remember in, in SQL you can either license per core now or per server cow if you license per server cow, you've got to name those endpoints, right? So either user de user cows or device cows. And if you go core model, it's unlimited access points. So that's what's really good for large companies, for um, if you've got outward-facing websites or outward-facing information that a lot of folks are going to be uh, hitting. Um, those are the things that you want to look up. You want to look at kind of the break-even points with those two. But keep in mind, you've got to make sure that you're licensing all of those folks that are accessing those SQL environments. Very important. If you need any more information on this, we can help. Uh, please let us know. This is Jessica Kreisman, Strategy 2 and Warning. I'll talk to you next week. Thanks.